Welcome everybody. Hey, it's great to have you on the on the call tonight. Yes, go Miriam, you're super excited. I am uh, blessed and honoured to have the amazing Simon Chan from MLM Nation joining us tonight. Simon has been a mentor of us for a few years now, right, Simon? And uh, time flies. Yeah, time flies. All right. Oh, gotta get my hat on. <laughs> I got my MLM hat on. Uh, but look, Simon is a real treat. He he is a mega star in the world of network marketing and making an impact on the planet. Um, I really hope you're taking advantage of all the wonderful resources that he provides, uh, his podcast and uh, it, it, the different trainings that he has. And tonight he has come and volunteered his time to share with us uh, some of the gold that he's sharing and tell us also a bit about the workshops that are coming up that if you're not a convention, I would be at those workshops if I could be. In fact, I've even requested from him to have another one at another time so I can be. Because <laughs> right? they're going to be amazing. So uh, welcome to the call, Simon. Welcome to the Shine Bright team. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Hey, it's an honor for me to be here. Good to see you. a lot of familiar faces here. Margo, Dave Penrose, uh, who has been very, very consistent. Super proud of you. Uh, Marion's good to see you on here as well. Marion Brewer, we need to get you on MR Mission. I'll send you a message after this. Um, so I want to, I'm going to go get started right now, okay? First of all, my purpose-driven life is to have a positive impact, as many lives as possible. It's just been really rewarding. Um, you know, just in the co topic, it's been a couple of years. I still remember the first time uh, they took me to – yeah, first time for me, gluten-free Chinese food, you know, in Brisbane, and that was awesome. And since then, it's just, you know, exciting, you know, my purpose to make a positive impact, seeing the lives that Justin and Nicole have made, done, seeing them grow, right, through the ranks, and your business growth always comes after your uh, mindset, the way you grow, the more, and they have definitely been growing themselves personally, investing in themselves, uh, going, stepping outside the comfort zone, do all these type of things, promoting events, um, attending seminars, MLM Nation stuff, other things, and that's why they are they, they are where they are today. So I'm super honored uh, to call them a friend and also to be on here today. So I have three beliefs about network marketing. Number one is network marketing allows us to fulfill our unlimited uh, potential. Yeah, we're all born with unlimited potential, uh, but we may think, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm a shy. You know, I can't do this. But if you step outside the comfort zone, you can do amazing things. You know, I'm a shy, quiet Asian kid from Brooklyn, New York. Um, my first training was for I had a team of like 14 people, like four showed up. And then I was speaking really fast like this, like, hey, what's going on? This is how you recruit it. And then do you have any, do you have any questions? And then there's like silence. And then one of my friends, Anthony, I still remember his assignment. You know, it was a 30-minute training. And I finished it like in 14 minutes. And he said, Simon, I don't think anyone understood what you're talking about. So I was like super nervous. I spoke fast. But if you get outside your comfort zone, you can all, we can all do amazing things. And I think that's what network marketing, ASEA, all gives you the opportunity to do. Number two, allows us to give back more to our communities, whether it's like donating your time, your money. Um, ASEA allows you to do that. And number three, allows us to really create a legacy, allows us to be better parents, you know, I've become a better parent. I've seen other people become better parents just from the stuff you learn in business, like the success habits, the routines, right? We pass it along to the next generation, and that's one of the things I love about network marketing. And our vision at ML Nation is to empower 10,000 distributors to achieve a full-time income. So today, I'm going to share with you uh, a couple of things I think will be very helpful for you all. It is four follow-up scenarios and how to close. Okay, sound good? And I want to make it interactive. So far, there's no one in chatting. You guys excited? Type in yes. Right? Type in yes. I know Miriam's excited. Justin's always excited. Nicole's excited. Uh, so four follow-up scenarios. Now, why am I talking about follow-ups? Because 80% of sales are done after the fifth follow-up. And another related to that is most sales come in after the 21st, 22nd exposure. So I'll give you, tell you what that means. How many of you have ordered, Dom, ordered Domino's pizza, right? I think everyone has eaten Domino's pizza in their lives. Now, it's not good pizza, but we have ordered, or you have no friends, it's definitely not good pizza. Now, do you see a commercial and, and all of a sudden you want to uh, order Domino's? Very rarely. You drive by, you may see uh, pamphlets, you may do door hangers. You don't order it. You don't order Domino's pizza. But one day, out of nowhere, normally, and they know it, 
right? They know that's why they keep advertising. They keep exposing on the 21st, 22nd time that you get hungry and you get really desperate and it's the only thing that's open and then you order that Domino's pizza because it's in your mind. And it's the same thing in your ASEA business. You know, 80, it takes multiple exposures and most of your prospects, I'll say 95% of them will not be a customer or will not join your business on the first exposure. They see most people think, oh, I want to talk to my friend, they will join. They will eventually become a customer or join, but not normally not on the first time. Right now, the some will, but most will not. But most will join or become a customer later on in their lives. So 80% are done after the fifth follow-up. The sad thing is over 50% of people do only one follow-up. Okay, so I want to talk about how to get overcome this. And this is like why I talk about three steps to success. In anything in the world, it's three A's. It starts with attitude, action, and accountability. Attitude doesn't mean you have a bad attitude. Attitude just means the way you see things, the way you look at them, the way you perceive something, and then you take action, and then you become accountable. You need accountable to stay in there. So for a lot of you, uh, maybe you know you there was a time in your life you loved just having a job, and then you shifted your attitude. Your attitude, the way you look at things, is you know, you, maybe you were excited at a job and now you're not that excited anymore. Your attitude, you start looking, you want to be the entrepreneur. Your attitude changed and then you took action, got started with a CEO, right? And now, and then to get to the next level, you need accountability, daily consistency. So let's start off the attitude with follow up. The first thing you got to do before anything is having a proper follow up attitude. And that is before you even make a call, you got to be positive. Okay, before you do any follow up, you gotta think positive. If you're stuck, it's because you are not thinking positive. You are thinking in the past. What do I mean by in the past? How many of you had someone said no to you? Maybe the last three people, last five people said no to you. So you're thinking about it. Oh, you know what? John said no to me. So if I call uh, Luis today, oh, man, he's probably not gonna watch. Is he gonna be interested? Or I sent the video to John, he never watched the video. So I'm gonna. But I gotta follow up with Luis. Uh, he, he's probably not gonna. He probably didn't watch the video either, right? You're thinking of the past. Thinking if you're thinking negative, and the, by the way, that we have about sixty-five thousand thoughts a day. Ninety percent of them are negative. Okay, most of your thoughts. We have like ninety percent of your thoughts are in the past. Most of your past thoughts are all negative. Meaning. Back in, you hear people say this all the time, back in the good old days, right? Uh, when I was younger, when I was better looking, when I had more hair, when I was, it was, it was negative. Most of the stuff in the past is mostly negative. So if you're thinking in the past, you're stuck. Most of you just think, I'm not making money enough. Most people are not joining. Or when I do sign someone up, uh, they quit. See, you can't be, when you follow up someone, I always assume they will do well. I assume they watch the video. I assume they are excited. Right now, I just did a, this training. I have no idea how many people are going to show up, but I just assume there's going to be a lot of people showing up. I can't be like, oh, is it going to be uh, 20 people, 10 people, or people is late? I mean, it was just in the car, a lot of costs. Because if I start thinking like that, my energy is not going to be there. And what people are buying is your energy and your confidence. I'm going to talk about that more when we talk about closing. So you got to think fun. Positive, okay? Now we're not, oh, I'm not making enough money, you know that. So let's talk about um, follow up scenarios, okay? And by the way, I always assume people watch the video. There's four scenarios. The first scenario is after you send out the video. So that's easy. I was like, if I talk to Miriam, are you interested in the business? She says, yes. Take a look at this video, this explains everything. I follow up with her. What should I say? Very simple. Hey, Marion, what did you like best about the video? Now, some of you may say, oh, uh, did you watch the video? Don't, I, never, I never say, do you watch the video? You automatically assume they don't, they don't watch it. And now, if they did say, I did watch it, then actually you catch you off by surprise. Your energy is off already. So I always say, what did you like best about the video? Okay, oh, I don't think you have questions. What did you like best about it? Being positive. That's one follow-up scenario. Okay, that's easy. You can all, you know what? Uh, you all send out videos, right? If you did your DMO. By the way, the DMO, we always talk about the 3553. Five, three. This is the only thing that makes you money. The daily five things that make you money is posting every day, sending out invites, following up, meeting new friends, and sending out presentations. 
go out there and send someone. Hey, what did you like best about the video I sent you? Okay, simple, easy follow up you can send. That's I think you can hit, most of you can, you got. Now, what happens if you send the video and they don't watch it? Then what do you do? I'll tell you what you don't do is you'll nag them. Hey, did you watch the video yet? Okay. Simple. We don't want, by the way, we don't want to be needy uh, Nellies. Okay. Uh, and I'll show Simon says, well, needy Nelly. You, you, if you don't know who needy Nelly is, I actually boarded her back. Hi, I'm needy Nelly. Please join my business. I'm desperate. I need you to sign up. I need a customer's end of the month. Please. It's the best products, best business. Please, please join. Hey, come on. People don't want needy. You know, your prospect is like, I got to be like that. Your prospect only thinks that you got to do what you did to them. So your whole, hey, by the way, so you guys laughing, we got Needy Nelly, we got Desperate Duncan. Please join my business. I got the best deal going on. You got Desperate Duncan and Needy Nelly. You don't want to be Desperate Duncan, Needy Nellies. Okay? So when you follow up, don't want to nag about the video. If someone actually hasn't watched the video, I wouldn't immediately message them right back again, again, again. You send them what I call on busy follow up. I'll wait two or three days and send them, hey, use the I'm busy follow up. Say, hey, I'm sorry I haven't been in touch. I've been busy with my business and getting new customers. How are things going with you? Okay, I'm sorry I haven't been in touch. I've been busy growing my business and getting new customers. How are things going with you? Okay, now I'm gonna say growing my business. I've been busy growing my business, and getting new customers. Now I don't ask them, did you watch the video yet? No, I don't say that. Most of the time, so when you, it doesn't matter what you're doing, whether it's communicating or you're posting on social media, you always want to increase curiosity. Now, this is get them curious about what I'm doing, right? I'm busy growing my business. Most of them, they're really like, the needy Nelly, what they're sitting at home like, oh, when's the person going to watch the video? They're sitting there doing nothing to do, waiting for them. Okay, that's desperation. Just say, I've been busy growing my business, getting new customers. How are things going with you? Immediately, this is a couple of scenarios. They be like, oh, right. Most of the time, now don't bring up the video. Most of the time they will say, oh, you know, I've been busy too. I'm sorry, I haven't watched the video. And then you can communicate and set up another follow-up time with them. There also may be a time that they won't watch the video and they won't reply back to you. Now, if they don't reply back to you, oh, you're going to cry. No, you're not. This is part of the business. Right, it's part of the business now, but will they be? Will you? Would you have increased their curiosity? They probably thought, "What happened? You're busy growing your business, getting new customers." They may go to your Facebook profile and check check it out. Okay, and this sets up for the next follow up. So I think all you all here have. I want you to you to take action after this call. Go send this out to a couple of people. But maybe you send a video. Just say, "Don't say, did you watch the video yet?" Don't bring up the video. They will bring up the video. Hey, I'm sorry I haven't been in touch. I've been busy growing my business and getting new customers. How are things going with you? Okay. Now, next scenario. Maybe they don't reply back. So, so some don't reply back. Now, you can't be sending this message, the same message all the time. So the next one, this next scenario is, you know, when you haven't contacted them in a while. By the way, you shouldn't be following the same prospects all the time, right? That means you haven't been meeting new friends. If you haven't contacted them for a while, this is where you share a winner update that made you think about them. It can be non-business rated, and you ask them how they're doing. Now, I actually should add something in here that top networkers always find an excuse to follow up. Okay, so I'm gonna actually type this in here. Top networkers, I want you to write, write this down too. Top networkers, always find an excuse to follow up. So I want you to start training your mind to think this way. So I'll give you a lot, a couple of examples. If I was, we talk about, you know what? What we just talk about gluten-free Chinese food, right? And I went with a Justin Nicole, right? If I had a Chinese food, I had Chinese food the other day. Uh, my father-in-law's here. I said, hey Justin, you know what? My father-in-law, my in-laws were here help watching my youngest son uh, while I was in Paris and Barcelona. And we had Chinese food once we got back. Immediately made me think about you when you took me that gluten-free Chinese food in Brisbane. First time I had it. How are things going with you? Fantastic. That's great. All right. 
And then that starts the conversation again. So you find an excuse. Think of the difference with things in your life. So for example, uh, if I have a friend that is, I know a lot of you live in Queensland. I have a friend in Australia. You know what? I'll say, hey, you know what? This morning at 4 a.m. I did a training for a great group of uh, distributors. A lot of them from Queensland. And made me immediately think about you, you know, because you live in the Gold Coast. How are things going with you? Right? You find excuses to follow up with people. Or like, I'm right after this call, I'm going to go to the gym to work out. I love working out in the morning. So uh, I was, hey, I just went to the gym, had a great lift at 5 a.m., made me feel about when we worked out together that, that morning. How are things going with you, Jeff? Okay, find excuses to follow up. Another way to follow up, right now, I don't ask them about the business. This conversation will eventually lead to that business. Now, another way to follow up is when you go to, you know, just, just on top of going to convention or go to any event, collect stories. Okay, as a networker, you want to collect friends and you want to collect stories. So what do I mean by collecting stories? Uh, Justin used to be a PT, right? He used to be a trainer. I said, wow, I said, this is what I would do. Justin was a trainer. Okay, I got a trainer story. Nicole worked for corporate, successful corporate executive, trainer. So if I can go back, so I, I, I go to a convention, I see Justin get an award on stage. I'll, I'll reach out to my friend. So, you know, hey, I just got back to the Garcia conference. So this guy, Justin, he used to uh, be a trainer, had a gym business, and now very successful. He, he was in a rat race, now very, very successful doing his own home business. And immediately maybe think about you because you're a trainer. How are things going with you? Oh, I'll, I'll reach out to one of my corporate friends working for Corporate America. Hey, you know, I just came back from convention and saw this lady speak on stage. She used to work for Australia for corporate. And me, he thought, thought about you because you were in the corporate life as well. How are things going with you? Okay, go to your convention. You know, you look at your top leaders, whether you've heard them, seen them on stage, or I'm sure you can go to YouTube, see them speaking, collect stories. You know, one of the stories I used a lot of the time was our, one of our top income earners who spoke almost at every convention was a single mom with five kids. She, and then she became the number one income earner. I used her story. I used to, I reached out to my friend, uh, Josephine. Hey, Josephine, I just came back from our convention. A number one income earner was a stay-at-home mom, was in financial debt with five kids. And then now the top earners making impact on thousands. I know she was a single mom and made me immediately think about you. How are things going with you? Okay, collect stories on this. Um, you can go back to look at what are the SEA leaders? What are the top leaders? Use the stories. Again, top networkers, collect friends, collect stories, and always find an excuse to follow up. Okay, don't bring up the business. They will bring it up. The whole point you want to restart that conversation. Okay, next scenario, last one, is my favorite, and you all have it. It's called the witness protection follow-up. Because this is for your friends, prospect they're hiding from you there you text them they don't reply back you call them they don't return your call or maybe your call is even blocked you leave a voicemail definitely don't hear back from them you facebook message them you don't hear back but you go on your profile they're alive well they're alive but they're just avoiding you what's going on well now let me ask you how many of you actually have prospects like this they're avoiding you type in a yes your prospects are avoiding you. Now, let me, let me ask you, why are they avoiding you? Why are they avoiding you? They're avoiding you for two reasons. Okay. Hey, Simon. It's a great name there. I like your name, Simon says. It's a Simon in the group here. So we got to meet in person one day, Simon. So why are they saying no? They're saying no for two reasons. Number one, they don't want to say no to you. They're not interested. Right? Have we ever had some someone in our life where we didn't want to say no to someone, and we just kind of avoid them? We do that all the time. Saying no is uncomfortable, right? Like people sometimes think, "Oh, people like to reject you." People don't like to reach out. People don't like to say no. They will hide. You know, you walk down the street, they walk another side, you pretend not to see you. They just avoid you because they don't want to say no. That's number one. Number two is they're also afraid that if they communicate with you. You're going to be like a needy Nelly and just talk your head off and try to convince them to join the business again. So, oh, then I don't want, if I ever call them, they're going to try to convince me again. I'm going to waste my time. I really don't want to go through that. That's why they're avoiding you. Now, if they are avoiding you, do you think there's going to be any chance where maybe a year from now, they'll be like, oh, I'm interested in the CFR. I want to be a customer. I'm sorry I've been avoiding you for the past year, but I want to be your customer now. Do you think they'll ever do that? 
They're not going to do that, right? And the key is you want to always expand your database. You want to collect more friends, not ruin your friends, cut off your friends. Because there's a rule, okay? Every, I want you to write this down. Every six months, okay, every six months, the business gets easier and easier. Why is this? Every six months, it gets easier and easier. Because your prospects are in transition, okay? Also, every six months, you be more experienced. Are you going to be more experienced six months from now? You don't have any quitters here, right? So you are going to be building the business. Will you be more experienced in prospecting? Would you be more mentally tough? Yes. Are you going to learn more? So it's going to get easier and easier. Also, every six months, your prospects will be in greater chance your prospects will be in transition. And I'll tell you, your best prospects are the ones in transition in their lives. So meaning some type of transition can mean many things. Transition could mean um, in between jobs. Well, they're frustrated at work, they want to change. It could be they were single and now they got married and now they want to uh, buy a house. They need more money now. Before, they didn't think about that. They just rented like, a nice apartment. They don't care. But now, Or maybe they just had a baby. And now they go, oh, I hate going to my job and leave my baby. I want to be with my baby. Or I hate for maternity leave to, uh, to end. That's someone in transition. Or they move into a new neighborhood. They want to meet new friends. Or like one of my top leaders, he used to go to a pub and drink every night, have fun. And then he turned 30. He's like, oh, 30-year life crisis. What am I doing with my life? I gotta make a change. I gotta do. I, I gotta be more responsible. Start saving money. Transition. That's that's how I recruited him. I was in the transition. I, I read Purpose Driven Life. I read Robert Kiyosaki. Oh, I gotta make a change. Almost every one of you, if you're you're if you're a customer first, you were probably in some of a health transition. Health transition could be you went to your doctor. Doctor didn't give you a good uh, checkup. He could give you a report. Like oh my goodness, I gotta do something for my health. Right. Your best prospects are the ones in transition. And every six months, it gets easier because it increases the chance that, so your prospects in transition, I'll give you an example. Your prospect is uh, about to get married, planning for a wedding. Is that a good prospect? Probably not a good prospect right now because they're worried about the wedding planning. But once they got married and, and the transition is done, then they're a good prospect. Your prospect, they just got a new job last month with a 5% raise. Good prospect, good timing. By the way, there's another thing. There's never a bad prospect, just the wrong time for the right prospect, right? Good timing, not a good time. But how long do people uh, stay at the jobs in Australia? In the US is about two years. How long do people stay? Yeah, two, two, years. two years in corporate sort of stuff is pretty two good. Two years in corporate, okay? Yeah. So when do they actually start disliking the job? Two years or before two years? It's normally like one year, right? Maybe a couple months, one year. Now, they start looking at the one-year mark. They start looking at about the second-year mark, they change. So uh, your friend that just got a new job, they're not a good time. They're excited about the new job. A year later, they, they realize they got a 5% raise, but they're working 20% more. Hey, that's when they're a good pro. They are good prospects. So again, there's not a, never a bad prospect. It's just the wrong time for the right prospect. So every six months, it gets easier and easier. So getting back to the witness protection, if they are avoiding you during the transition time, will they come back to you? They're not going to come back to you, right? And also, here's another thing, important thing is, no, you know, a SEER is going to go bigger and more and more. That's proven. That's going to be, that's definitely happening. You guys have great momentum. It's going to grow more and more. Network marketing is also growing bigger and bigger right now. So eventually, your prospect is going to be approached by someone else, in either in a SIA or a different company, right? You want them to like, oh, when they get approached, oh, let me go back to Justin, because I remember Justin told me about something similar to this. You want them to come back to you. That doesn't mean they'll join, but you want them to think of you. So networking is not how many people you know. It's how many people knows of you and can remember you. So if someone, if they, your friend gets approached by another health product, will they think of you, right? Or will they like, oh, here's a friend that I'm trying to avoid. So this is how the top recruiters, you get a lot of signups later this way. 
a lot of customers this way. So you got to always end every interaction on a positive note. Now you want to collect friends. Your database should be constantly building. Now, if they're avoiding you, it's shrinking. So what can you say to them? Four things. Number one, the relationship means more than anything. So if Justin's been avoiding, I mean, Justin's not that type of guy, but if he was avoiding me, I was like, hey, Justin, our friendship means more than anything. It's okay you're not interested in this business. I won't bring up a C ever again. But can we still be friends? Now, how does he feel? Your prospects, if you say that, how do they feel if you get a message like that? Hey, our friendship means more than anything. It's okay you're not interested in the Sia. I promise I'll never bring it up again. Can we just still be friends and hang out? They will feel relieved. They actually may feel, your friends may feel guilty. Some of them may feel guilty like, oh, I'm not interested. I'm not supporting them. Now you tell them it's okay. Right, and then here, what happens is it allows you to maintain that relationship with them and for future follow-ups. Now, if you say this is important, if you say you're not going to bring it up, don't bring it up to them. Okay, at least not right now. Maybe six months, twelve months, you may ask for referrals. And for someone like this, I would ask. For, I would say, I know you're not interested in this business, but just to help me out, do you know anyone that would be interested? And if they are interested, they oh, they would say, oh, no, no, I'm actually interested. Okay. Make sure, I want you to send, how many of you actually have at least five people that have been avoiding you? Okay, be honest. I want you to copy and paste, write this out, send to at least five people tonight. Now, they may not reply back, but don't worry about it. At least you, you put the relationship on a positive note. They may, they may be busy, they may not reply back, well, they'll go on your Facebook profile. They'll see what you're doing. Okay, really important. Has this been good so far? Okay, good. Okay, now we're gonna go on to closing. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna see who else is on here. I've been, um, you know, how you scroll on Zoom. I've been seeing Justin's smiley face the whole time. So, just uh, Miriam's. All right. So let's just see who else. Good to see you all here. Um, next, we'll talk about closing. Now, closing is the same thing. We talk about the three steps to success. What? Attitude, action, accountability. Closing, 95% of closing is up here. It is about your attitude, okay? Visualizing success. Think of how many of you here have got at least one customer before or one distributor before? One. Okay, I want you to think about when you got that one, how good you felt. Because people ultimately, are, they're not buying, they're buying your conviction, your confidence. That's what people are buying. They're not buying your level of success. Right? Think about how you felt when you got your sign up. I always talk about people buying three things, your change, commitment, and your, and your conviction. How convicted are you about the business? Your certainty. That's what people are buying. Think about if you were... Be honest, if you were earning what Justin and Nicole were earning and at their rank, would you be able to, pro would it help, would, it, would, you, would you be able to prospect better? Right? Bob, do you think it, so? It's pretty good, yeah, pretty confident. Right? If you were earning what they're earning, it will help your prospecting. Now, here's the question. This is the million dollar question for you all. How come you can't be talking like the way, how come you can't be prospecting, closing like the way they have? That, you have, that you're earning their income. I'm not talking about how much income, bragging about the income, but the confidence they have. The conviction. The, that's what people are buying. And we all started out this way. So I'll give you an example. Someone says, you know what? Uh, someone says, I don't have the money. Right? You all get that? We all get that. A lot of you may say, well, when will you have the money? They may say, oh, I can get started next month. How many of you actually, oh, next week, right? Oh, I get my next paycheck. You always have that. And when you call that person up in the next paycheck, next month, what happens? Do they ever sign up? They never sign up, okay? Because they never have the money. It will be spent. Now, when you are clothing, closing, do you believe ASEA, the products and the company, can impact and help someone's life? You sincerely believe that. If you believe that, you got to do everything 
to get them in. Everything. You got to, in other words, you got to take their money and get them in. Okay? I'll tell you why. Because no matter how uh, lack of funds they are, they're going to spend the money. Now, you know, let me think, let me ask you this question. People on Centerlink, do they have money? They don't have much money, right? They're pretty poor. Right? Correct? Um, you know, they're living below. But I bet you, how many people on Centerlink have cable TV? Lots of them do. How many of, these spend, of them spend money on alcohol? Lots of them do. How many have uh, spent money on junk food? Lots of them. Or other stuff they spend on, right? So they, people always will find a way to spend the money. Even like the people on Centrelink will have the money to get cable TV. They, could be, uh, they should be spending the money elsewhere, but they'll spend the money. So you got to see this way. Either the cable TV company is going to get their money or you're going to help them and you're going to help them and get their money to get them started with a seal. Okay, you got to have, and you, when you're prospecting with conviction, this is what I mean. Uh, I don't have the money. But that's what you need to get started. You know, when you get started, um, that's what you're going to make money. Someone says, well, I, I need to get started next week. You know what you ask them? Do you know the difference between today and next week? By the way, everyone has the money. Everyone in Australia can have the money. They can put it, now, it may not come easily. They can borrow the money. They can put it on credit cards, but they will have the money. So someone says, oh, I need next week to get started. Well, do you know the difference between this week and next week? They'll say no. Well, the difference is by next week, you could have actually not only made your money back, you have doubled your money already. If you had an extra thousand dollars, how would I, what would you do with the extra thousand dollars? Now, let me ask you, am I lying if I say you can double your money in the SEA in the week? Am I lying? Has there been people who have doubled their money in the first week in the SEA? Yes, I know. I, I personally know. At least five, six people have done that, right? I mean, if you go to the company, you know, Justin Nicole have done that. If you actually go to the company, it'll give you a list of, you know, dozens and dozens of lots of people have done that, right? So you're not lying. Now, again, talk about vision, talk about thinking in the past. Maybe you haven't made your money in the first week. So you're, Matt, what right do you have to judge that your prospect can do that? You're, you're saying your lack of Coco success your, your, that prospect's going to be like you? Your prospect may be the next rock star. Could be the next Justin Nicole. You have no right to judge them. Your only thing you got to do is bring them, get them started. So closing is closing with confidence. Like you made it already. Right now, if you say, now maybe you haven't made it. If someone asks you, uh, well, you haven't made as much money, you know, how are you doing? So you know what? It doesn't even matter how I'm doing because you're way smarter than I am. Right? And it's a few better. And also, I have a lot of my friend Justin Nicole that are doing well. You can name all these people. Leverage other people's stories. But you got to close with conviction and confidence. I, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, this is one of my turning points. I, I did a lot of three-way calls and uh, – that's how I learned from my mentor. My mentor, he said, one person said to him, I don't have the money. I mean, I would have said at that time, I was like, oh, when will you have the money? You no. Know, and next week, I'll call you back next week. And I never got any sign up like that. Um, next month, never. Okay. So my mentor said he didn't have the money. You know, he just said it. He said, I appreciate you telling me you don't have the money, but I know you have the money. It, you can put on a credit card. You can borrow the money. But you're saying that because you're a little scared. You're not sure whether this works or not. I guarantee you'll make your money back. You do really, really well. So, but you probably have some questions. What questions do you have so I can help you get started? He said that. I was like, wow. He basically called him out like a, like a liar. But, he, but the guy signed up. I was like, wow, I can't believe the guy signed up. Because he, he recorded the call. If I said, if I, you know, because I was like, I would never be able to sign up that person. People are looking for your confidence and conviction. But right? everyone starts off in network marketing with nobody. Justin Nicole had no one. But don't, some of you are frontline to them. They got recruit. You bought them because uh, you bought their conviction and passion and confidence. That's what you're selling. Right? Someone says it's a pyramid scheme. Uh, if someone asks me it's a pyramid scheme like Justin. Come on, Justin. Whatever pyramid schemes are legal, would I ever tell you to do something illegal? Right? Or how do I know if it works or not? Hey, you know me. If it didn't work, would I be doing this? You've actually done it. 
Right? If it didn't work, would I be doing this? No. Does, your friend asks you, does this work? If it wouldn't work, would I be doing this? You know me, I'm not dumb. Would I be doing it? So people, it doesn't matter what you say. People are listening to the confidence in your voice. That's important. Second thing about closing is asking questions. Everything that you say, okay, you think because your, your prospects are also not dumb. They know that if you buy the product, they buy the product, they join, you're going to make a commission. They know that. So everything that you say is a lie. To them, it's a lie because you want to make, make money off. But everything they say coming out of their mouth is true. Right? Because people don't lie to themselves. So the, really the secret is whatever you want to say, don't say it. Ask a question and get them to say it. So instead of saying, a seer can give you time freedom. Ask him, if you, you know, how do you see, how can a seer give you time freedom? Or instead of saying, oh, you see, a seer can allow you to travel around the world. Say, well, once you grow internationally, if you're using social media, how do you see you can use social media to expand to other countries? Get them to say, say it. Instead of how great it is, ask them, what did you like best about what you saw? Ask them questions that get them to say what you want to say. So here's an exercise. Remember, we're talking about attitude, action, action, step for you, is think back do like at least 20 benefits of a seer and put them in the question, All right? So it could be travel around the world. I said, how can a seer allow you to travel around the world? Uh, you know, another benefit is a seer allows you to work from home. How will you be able to do this? Uh, how will you be able to use the uh, social media to work at home? Okay, ask questions. What's another benefit? Of a seer, right? Uh, pay off my debt. Maybe someone says that. Some people. So how do you see this? If you do, if you build into a seer business, how would this be able to pay off your debt in the next few years? Ask questions, okay? Because whatever they say is true. Okay, learn to learn to learn to work work on that. So, closing is just like. I, I'll share one example. One thing I did, uh, I used to do all the time. So we, I did a nutritional supplement company, and one of the things, we had a joint supplement, right? So I said, well, do you have any uh, older aunts or uncles or your parents that have knee pain or joint pain? I said, yes. Well, which one of them will be your first customers? Right? So when they start naming them, they're basically convincing themselves. That once they get started, they'll have customers for the product. Right? Oh, we had like a weight loss product too. Uh, do you have any friends that are like, interested to lose weight? And they would say who they were named off the list. So out of these five friends, um, would they be one of, which one of them would be, could be one of your first customers? So when they're saying that, they're convincing themselves. They're also mentally painting an image of them growing the business and, and making money. Another question they ask is, if, once you get started, who are your first 10 friends you talk to that will support you? Okay, you're painting pictures. So closing, again, asking questions and asking all the time. I, I, I love asking at least five times. My favorite question is, hey, um, first closing question is, hey, what can we do to help you get started? They may, oh, I'm not sure this will work. Then I answer that, I don't even know, I have tough time. I answer that objection and say, well, is there anything else we can do to help you get started? Do you have any other questions or concerns before we help you get started? I'm asking all the time. Okay, you ask a question, they may bring an objection, you answer objection, you close again. Most people, most distributors, they don't even close one time. They do the presentation, and they just sit there. They're waiting for the prospects, like, hi, sign me up. No prospects like, sign me up. They don't say that. They're waiting for you to ask that question. Okay, very rarely say, oh, I want to join. There's probably 1% of people out there like that. I want to be that customer. They're waiting for you to ask them, hey, are you ready to improve your health today? Are you ready to earn some extra income today? Learn, ask questions, ask questions. You, you can't ask them the same question, but you have a, <clears throat> like, for example, closing questions. What can I do to help you get started? Would you like to make your first check to, to work on getting your first check today or tomorrow? 
right? When's the first training session you want to attend? What can I do to get you plugged in? Just constantly asking questions. So the you talk about closing uh, conviction, closing with conviction, confidence. Think back. You all got your first. You all have one customer before, one distributor. Think about how you felt. You did that, and then you close. Okay, because people will feel that energy. Some other closing questions uh, we talked about. What did you like best about what you saw? One of my favorite. Okay. If you were to do this, who would be your first customers? What can we do to help you get started? What's the worst thing that can happen if you do this? What's the worst thing that can happen if you do this? Right? What's the best thing that can happen if you do this? And a money back guarantee. I use this all the time. Money back guarantee. Someone says, oh, I need to... Uh, I, by the way, some of you, if you feel like, oh, you can't guarantee by, by next week and double, triple your income. See, say, if it doesn't work, we have no money back guarantee. Return the products, you get your money back. Someone says, hey, I'm not sure if this works. I need more time to think about it. Say, you know what? A CEO understands that. That's why we have a, we just help you solve that problem. Right? We understand that. That's why we have to solve the problem of a money back guarantee. By you sitting at home, you're not going to learn about how it works. When you get started, you learn more in one hour than you can sit in one week sitting back at home. And if it doesn't work, with a money back guarantee, you can return the products and get your money back. By the way, if most companies have a money, a money back guarantee, okay, uh, different countries in the US, you can actually take the pills and use the products and return it with like a 10%, 90% consumed, and it'll still give you a full money back guarantee. Now, in other countries, in Malaysia, it didn't. So, you know what I did? I actually paid out of my cost. I paid out of my cost for the guarantee. But tell you, no one, most people are not going to take that guarantee, but it will close so many more sales when you're closing with conviction. Okay, I use that all the time. You, you know what? You need to think about it. We solved that problem. You want to save time. You know time is money, right? You say, yeah, well, this is what you do. Get started, and we're going to start making your check immediately this weekend. Okay, we give, how you make your check this, by this weekend. And then uh, if it didn't work out, we have a money back guarantee. Okay, but let's, let's help you get started. I know you shared with me a story. Let me work with you and help you get your first check in the next two days. People are listening for your confidence and conviction. And you, like I said, you got to get their money. If you don't get their money, they're going to spend that money on something else that doesn't do any good for them. All right. Um, I think we're talking about the difference between today and next week. We talked about this, right? The difference between today... You can make a check by tonight. You can make $100 by tonight. But next week, you still be in the same. You know, I've worked with a lot of people. You'd be in the same position as you were the, the whole year. When are you ready to make that change? Let's get started right now. Okay. Talk like you're a six, your top income earner. Okay. Talk with confidence. That's what people are buying. Good. Make sense? Okay. Has this training been helpful? Really good. I, I want no. you to follow up. I want you to uh, really close the yes. closing. Get those closing questions down. Really important. I used to have a list of closing questions on my desk every time I'll be looking at them. I'll be rotating, asking these questions over and over and over again. So um, here's someone saying, "How many of you would like to prospect together with me?" You know, I think Justin when it first started, uh, he brought that brought that up. I'll be going to Australia and also New Zealand, or different parts of the US as, as well. So here's a new type of event. We started this new type of event after No BS. We had a lot of feedback and we started this back in June. We tested on San Antonio and then did a very successful one in Perth. It's called a BYOB workshop. Okay. It's not bring your own beer. It's bring your own, build your own business. You know, if you want to build your, yeah, if you want to Bring a beer. We've not have had, had anyone do that, but sure, you can bring a beer and prospect together. But how is this event different? It's a new type of event. No one in network marketing is really doing this. Is it gets you results and not just pages of notes? Right? Because I know you, Justin, Nicole, you guys are doing great. They're doing great training already. You can take the notes at this workshop. We want to work together. We want to work on that DMO together. So you get more results in eight hours than you've ever gotten if you do it yourself. So I want to share one quick video, like a one minute, from this woman, Emma Romano. She came out in Perth and did this. Hi, my name's Emma Romano, and it's the first time I've actually been involved in anything like this. I have spent the whole day with Simon and, I don't know, over 100 people in the room. I've been involved in an online company now for a uh, year and a half, and in the last... 
few hours, just in the morning, in the first half hour, I have sent out so many um, messages and follows up, follow ups. And I'm not joking, today I have had more feedback and people asking for my links and videos in one day than they had been in, in a whole year and a half. So I wasn't going to come to this because I'm thinking, oh, you know, it was only a little bit of money too. It was only like 50 bucks or something. It's the best 50 bucks I've ever spent. And I've just signed up for his other stuff and I'm so excited and I'm already pumped. And I've already got a, a, a three-way um, appointment made up. It, it's crazy. It's amazing. So if you're, if you're on the fence about doing this, get off the fence and just go and do it. <laughs> so how does BYOB help you? Okay, a couple of things. Uh, we do a brief training on how to recruit online. Also, we prospect together. In the morning, we prospect together. I'll make you do things you, you're scared to do. Uh, in the afternoon, prospects will start replying back to you. And I'll teach you exactly what to say. Okay, so here are the locations. Melbourne, September 8th. Go Coast, September 9th. Okay, I know some of you be at convention, but for those who are not making the convention, going to the U.S., uh, September 9th. Look forward to seeing you there. And then we... Uh, Gatwick in the UK, October 20th. Manchester, October 21st. Dallas, Texas, November 3rd. San Antonio, November 4th. And then Sydney on December 1st. Auckland, December 2nd. And then Nashville, you, uh, Tennessee, December 8th. So who is BYOB for? Okay, it's for those who are struggling to take action and be consistent. If you struggle with action consistency, here's a guy, Lorenz. He says, thank you so much, Simon. Today, for the first time in my life, I've done the whole DMO. It was effortless. So much that a curiosity was so big that people asked for more info. He has seven new friends, five invites, 10 follow-ups, four presentations just for that working session. It's also for people who are not sure, if you're not sure sometimes how to reply back to your prospects, I'll coach you and teach you how since we're prospecting together. Um, this is from Melissa. She's out in Perth. So I just want to shout out Simon's training on Sydney. Gave me this advice. Be the purple elephant. Instead of trying to convince like so many other networkers, I would thank her and look what happened. So she was a prospect that was kind of not interested. I told her, don't say that, say this instead. And then she actually uh, changed her mind. I was interested in taking a look at the video. It's also for leaders. If you want your team to take more action, get more results, this is from a six-figure owner, Tamara Hunter. She says, hey, Simon, just want to express my thanks and gratitude for Sunday. The focus meeting with 20 of my team was brilliant, but more than that was the BYOB event. My notifications and inbox are being blown up right now, and the amount of activity is only on with going on with the team just owning discomfort and fear and going to work on the dmo is crazy from 70 year old grandmas to gen y moms and millennials all getting the trenches and interaction can't thank you and the team enough so for leaders as well so you take action by the way if you feel some of you feel like you can get it done by yourself you know we take action and prospect when we better when we work with others right when we do something alone we tend to procrastinate i know i procrastinate we let our fear stop us. We get discouraged easily. And a lot of times we just don't show up, right? So this is what, uh, it applies to other things as well, right? When you work out, exercise, when we do something alone, we don't exercise consistently. You want to exercise consistently? Go work out with someone else. Just eating healthy, sticking to a diet, do it with someone else. So we get better results when we work together. So this is how it looks like. This is probably the only event where I tell you, don't turn off your mobile phones. You're gonna keep your mobile phones on and you're gonna prospect all day. And I should bring a spare battery, bring your charger, because you will run out of batteries. We will work, work, work. Um, you know, most network marketing events, uh, tickets cost 200 to 500, even our no BS events, uh, 300 bucks. So build your own business workshop, it's a $300 value. I also added something in there, okay, as an action take a bonus. So to give you a heads up, a head start leading up to that event, um, anyone who gets purchased a ticket today, you get an online duplication faster orientation video series. These are short videos, five, seven minutes long, talk about how to create content, meeting prospects, building rapport, follow-ups, closing, using Facebook groups, training new reps, Facebook lives, objection handling. The reason I'm doing this is because once we get on there, we're gonna work, I want you to get a head start, okay? Uh, but you must get the ticket today or, or in, before the event sells out. The event is only limited to 150 people. It's not going to be like no BS, hundreds or thousand people. It's going to be small so I can work together with you. Now, to, so total value, the workshop is $300. The online duplication fast start orientation video series is $97 value. Total is 397 
for the ticket, I mean, you heard the price before, we made it affordable so everyone can prospect and build a business. Early bird is only $50, okay? Uh, and that depends on available per city. For some of the cities, it is $75, okay? But still cheaper than if you go to the event, it'll be $100, okay? And, and limited seating. So again, we talk about uh, guarantees. I always have a no BS money back guarantee. If you feel you didn't get your money's worth, we refund your entire investment. But I know within the first three hours, before our lunch break at noon, you already get immediate results. Someone replying back to you. Okay. Last thing before I end, this is Sarah Riot from Perth, and she, she has a couple words to share. So I'm Sarah Riot. Um, I loved meeting Simon and today coming to his um, BYOB event. Um, it was really cool. I haven't been to an event like this before. I hadn't met Simon before either. Um, I have been very slow in my own business for the last year and not really, um, really kind of floundering really. So today I loved how much he packed into a day. I was writing like crazy, taking lots of notes because he delivers value, so much value in one day. Um, and the good thing was it was practical. So we were able to do some things in the room and felt like I've done more in my business in this one day than quite literally I have in the last at least six months. So um, I've already got some messages to follow up on and it's really exciting. Um, the thing was I feel now I've got a strategy that's really achievable and can implement what I didn't know before and learn a lot of things that I definitely wasn't close to figuring out on my own. So. I highly recommend it. It's value. Simon's a good guy and it's just fun. It's just good. So if all of this did was help you sponsor one new rep or get one new customer, it would be worth $397. Right, definitely if you get one leader out there. Uh, but it's not, it's only $50 for the early bird. And if it's after the early bird, it's 75 bucks. Uh, go to mlnation.com forward slash BYOB. Get okay, limited to the first 150 people. Uh, yes, you don't want to be a lone wolf, like Marion says. So mlnation.com for slash BYOB. I'll be here. Here are the dates again Melbourne, September 8th, Gold Coast, September 9th, and then uh, Sydney, December 1st, Auckland, December 2nd. And for those who are team members in the UK, want to expand, those are events you can share as well. So uh, look forward to see you all there. As we wrap up, I'm going to stop my sh share again here. Uh, again, go to, I'm going to type in the link here uh, for you. Love, looking forward to seeing you all there, prospecting together. Hey, uh, thank you again for being here. Um, you know, it is Tuesday night. I know you have tons of going on. You had also three trainings today, but you hung in there. I appreciate you all. The attitude, the desire, it really reminds me of when I first started. Uh, I would attend every training and just get squeeze everything out there. So you got to thank Justin and Nicole, the amazing leaders, for making it happen. And uh, thank you for being here. Looking forward to see our BYOB. we prospect together. It'll be a ton of fun, and you're going to grow your businesses. And the last thing I just want to share is, hey, we're in the business to help others. Right? You have an awesome product, awesome company. Uh, so go out there and have a positive impact on someone's life today. God bless you all. And I'll see you in Australia. Awesome. Thank you. So Thank, you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Simon. It's amazing. You've got to be there at that event. It's going to be phenomenal. So, yeah, I, if I could be at those events, I would be. I encourage you. You've got to be there. It's going to change your life. And uh, hugely grateful for everything Simon's done for us. And uh, so, yep, stay tuned, get the details, book your tickets tonight, don't muck around. Just don't, don't even like question yourself. Just get into action, book your ticket, go to the workshop. You will build your business. It's that easy. It breaks my heart when I hear that last testimonial, like, girl, you know, I've been pretty slow on my business for a year or so. I went to the workshop, everything changed. Hey, hello. That's how easy it is. Put yourself in the room, be in the environment, be a part of the energy. Simon's a master. You're going to do things that's just going to blow your mind. You're going to get instant results. So it's so, so inexpensive. It's, it's a bargain. So don't mess around. Book your tickets and, uh, and have a ball. Take as many people with you as you can, right? <laughs> like recruit people to come with you because it will, it will blow up your business. It's awesome. Any girls, Nikki, before we sign off? No, just I really encourage those of you who are not going to convention to be at these events and to take your team. Because can you imagine if you have three people, five people, eight people, ten people from your team at this workshop with Simon prospecting all day, what that's going to do. It's that going is to be massive. going to do incredible things. And for you, Elizabeth, in the UK, 
amazing. Simon has an event, which I don't think is too far well, from you guys. Uh, ironically, I'm going to be flying from Dublin to Amsterdam while he's in Gatwick, and then I'm going to be in Amsterdam while he's, he's in the other, with Manchester. But Elizabeth's going to be coming from Germany to Manchester for the 23rd, 24th, mm -hmm. so come a few days early. Like, it doesn't matter wherever you are in the world, mm -hmm. just do what you can to make it happen and be at this event. It will, it will lift you to a new place. And yeah. I want you to feel what we get to feel. I yeah. really do. We, Nicole and I, we really want you to experience this extraordinary life where you're impacting people, you're getting freedom, you know, you, you, it's, it's so good. <laughs> you've yeah. got to try it on. You've got to do the work and you've got to get there because, yeah, you're meant to, to do yeah. something special on this planet and this is the way. I know there's quite a few of you on this call who live fairly locally to the Gold Coast event and you can be there together, sit together if you're all in the team and, you know, you're all working a SEA, even if you're in different lines or whatever, like sit together, support each other, keep it going. Um, there's a lot of you that are in Melbourne that are here on the call that you can go as a group and experience that group energy. If you get a lot out of it and then, you know, set a time a, a, a week, two weeks later to then all get together as a group and do the same thing again, like make it a regular thing. Take what Simon is going to teach you and make it a regular thing where you get together for an hour or a couple of hours, like once a week and, and, and do this. And if you've got team that lives far away from you, you can get together with them on zoom and say, Hey, look, this is what I learned. So like take this, like you're going to be, it's not a, taking notes workshop it's a practical workshop and then take that practicality and like keep it going yeah duplicate it triplicate it show you people you don't know something properly until you teach it right so go and be the student put it in pl into practice and then go and teach it and this will change your life if right. if we had done everything simon said when we first met him my goodness we would be presidential already guarantee it <laughs> you know so just implement 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 and uh yeah is, this is amazing. So, all right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you so Have much. For coming. Have a fantastic evening. We will see you soon. Stay well. And, uh, yeah, give your gifts to the planet. Shine bright, everyone. Bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Bye. Bye.